Hi Gabriella, this is Steven from CMP Automotive here in Calgary and this right here is our 2023 GMC Yukon SLT. First things first, thank you for taking my call. It was a pleasure speaking with you on, on the phone. Um, this particular vehicle is being driven by my manager right now as a demo. It is a, like I said, a 2023. It's finished in titanium rush metallic, so a dark grayish blue with a nice metallic flake in it. I did spray it down, uh, but I didn't have access to our car wash, so it dried up a little bit. And it, sorry, it's not uh, quite as clean as I would have liked it. But what I'll do in this video, I'll give you uh, a little walk around tour, go over some key features, and uh, kind of go from there. So up front, you have full LED lighting that includes daytime rain lamps, headlamps, fog lamps, and turn signals. You also have 3M on the front end, up to here, so the hood, part of the fender, and the entire front bumper. Um, along the front bumper, I also have uh, front parking sensors. And then in the grill, you have a front camera. That camera works in conjunction with the cameras on each side mirror, as well as the backup camera, creating a 360 camera. And I'll show you what that looks like in a moment. But moving along. Now on the sides, you have these 20 inch alloy wheels. They're wrapped in Continental all season rubber. This of course is not an XL. This is the short version as you requested. It has running boards. It has keyless, keyless proximity entry and all four door handles. Side mirrors also have 3M on it to protect from, uh, from your rock chips there. LED turn signals, your cameras. These mirrors are power folding, they're auto dimming, they have integrated blind spot monitoring, and of course they are heated as well. This vehicle also has window tints. Um, it looks like it's just to match the front or sorry, the rear. Uh, so I would assume 20, 25% looks pretty sharp. Now back out here again, full led lighting for the taillights, reverse lights, license plates, turn signals, the lot. Uh, you also have rear parking sensors and then your backup camera is located right there. Now below this panel or behind this panel, rather you have your class four hitch receiver and it will have your four and seven pin harnesses. And uh, one thing I really enjoy on the Yukons is, where is it? There it is. The ability to just open up the back window. This is handy when you just want to toss something in or maybe you have a long item. I don't know, uh, skis, which I think would fit in here anyways, but let's say a long item. <laughs> and it needed to stick out a little bit further than uh, what can fit in the vehicle. There you go. And of course you have your usual power lift gate. That reveals a ton of space in here being a full size SUV. So the first thing I wanna show you down here, you have your block heater cord, your jack and all that. Uh, the third row is power operated with these buttons right here, 60, 40 splits, three across. So the total seating capacity, two, four, and seven. And I'll show you what that looks like. Simply hold down this button, it folds up, and it will fold down. Same with this side as well. Um, three prong household plug. Second row is also power operated. However, it just goes down, not up, and it's not as graceful. It just flops down. I'll show you what that looks like. Just like that. Still comes in handy. Now, uh, third row or behind the third row, you have tie downs over here and over there. And for the third row occupants, you have cup holders on each side, there and there, USB-Cs, and above their head, AC vents. Also, all the lighting here is LED, just a nice little detail. Okay, let's look at the second row. So you have captain chairs. Okay, these slide back and forth like this. They also recline back and forth. And as you saw, you can also fold them down. They have armrests, they are heated. 
with controls for the HVAC system, all here. You also have USB-Cs, and below that, you have another three-prong household plug. Sorry for the belongings in here. Like I said, this is a manager's demo, and he is currently driving it. <laughs> uh, also, you have a button right here, and this also folds it down, gets all the way. You have a strap, and you can simply get back there. Fold this up. And there is your three row or third row seating. Now up front, you have uh, quite a few things. You have memory seats. You're ob obviously, uh, you have power windows, door locks and mirrors. These are gonna be your folded mirrors. You can set it up in a way where when you lock the vehicle, it will automatically do that. Driver's seat is obviously power operated with power lumbar support. You have perforated leather here. These seats are also heated, but they're also ventilated, so cooled. Steering wheel is leather wrapped and heated as well. Let's hop on in. This vehicle is equipped with Bose audio, so premium audio. Straight ahead, I have a digital gauge cluster that is very customizable. I can go through various menus, uh, display modes and whatnot. Uh, to the left of that, I have an electronic parking brake, your lane keep assist, which can be uh, turned off if you wish. Same with your parking sensors, your auto stop and start, and your 360 camera with different views. Front end, rear end, curbs, that's gonna be your tow hitch. Yeah, we'll exit out of there. Furthermore, below that, I have my 4x4 controller. So I have four high, two high, uh, and then I have automatic mode. So kind of a set and forget it all wheel drive system, which is great. This right here, this button is for terrain mode. So kind of an off-road system. And then I have a mode switcher. So I can switch it from tow, haul, off-road, sport, and normal. To write that, of course, I have my automatic lights, and again, all LED. Steering wheel, like I said, leather wrapped, feels nice in your hands. You have cruise control, adaptive cruise control, rather. I have a spot to adjust the gap, the following distance for the vehicle in front of me. And then I have my steering wheel controls as well uh, for the audio. There's some behind on each side. And then you have these as well for the main menu. I have um, automatic wipers. And then to the right of that, I have my um, gear selector. Then I have my infotainment screen right here. Um, it is touch, of course. You have satellite radio. You have navigation with Google Maps. Uh, Play Store, Google Assistant built in, same with Amazon Alexa, Wi-Fi hotspot, yeah. Um, to the right of that, I have a little storage cubby. And then down below, I have my HVAC controls. So it's dual zone, or sorry, tri-zone climate controls. Um, I can control or override the rear climates, and that will pop up on here. I have a wireless charger as well as USB C's and A's, a 12 volt DC plug, your cup holders there, and in a massive storage compartment here with more USBs. Overall, I think this is a great option. Um, please let me know what you think and uh, we'll chat soon. Thanks for watching. Take care.